Welcome to another exciting episode of Doug's Electronic Repair Bench. Hi, evening YouTube. Here with you on this Wednesday evening. I'm uh, going to start this uh, uh, wiring update uh, tonight. Won't be finished till tomorrow though because I have to get around the back. I do have the bench moved out enough, I think, to get to it, but uh, I may move it out a little bit more just to have enough room back there. I have the uh, wiring done on the front. The switch has been rewired, and the uh, this part here. Has been removed. It was wired in, hardwired in, and uh, that's been removed. So that will be replaced by a switch or a switch receptacle on the back, and basically that's it right there. The yellow wire there is the wire that uh, my son-in-law brought. It's wired in. I, it needs to be pulled from the back a little bit more to get it under where it's supposed to go, but. That's basically what that will look like. Uh, I, I corrected some mistakes that I made previously on this wiring, and uh, I think it'll be a much better setup now. That made a little bit of difference there on that when I put that back together. All right, there was uh, wiring in here, if you recall. Uh, I had half the wiring in there, which I didn't like. Um, like I said, it's, uh, it's much better now. It's uh, more safe, I guess is the best way to put it. But, uh, anywho, that's all been done. And like I said, when the time, go, time comes tomorrow, I will uh, get that uh, going. It's uh, 8.30 in the p.m. And I'm a little tired because I've been kind of working at this off and on all day. Just getting the desk out was kind of a hard job. I uh, basically got that end down there out first, which kind of broke this lo end loose a little bit. I think it was just like stuck to the floor. And uh, once I did that, I could move this end in. So I did get uh, my uh, little power supply in for the uh, radio, FM, or uh, Bluetooth receiver, what do you want to call it? That's it right there. Five ninety-five, I think, is what this thing costs. It wasn't too bad. <laughs> it's funny because I was digging through some, looking some other stuff, and here's one, basically the same thing on a two amp. Probably would work. So I gotta start. I stopped collecting so many of those. But uh, anyway, we'll give these both. Well, I'll probably give both of them a try just to see how they work. I'd rather use the other one actually if I can. This one's uh, suitable for. If it needs more amperage, I guess this one would be better, but uh, I don't know. Anywho, now I'm rambling. Let me get this uh, wrapped up, and we will uh, talk to you all tomorrow when I get back at it. So we'll see you until then. Hi, right, back with you once more. This is the next day. There's the uh, mounted uh, receptacle on the back. It's about halfway across. Uh, like I said, there'll be a uh, power strip mounted here as well as on the other end when I'm done. So I'm going to get to that and uh, that will be uh, next on the agenda. So I think what uh, without further ado let me get to that and I'll show you that when it's complete. Stay tuned. Ah good Friday morning to y'all. I'm back once more for this final segment of the wiring update. You can see I have things kind of put together a little bit there. I want to make sure everything was going to line up with the way this uh, outlet uh, strip is. Power strip, whatever you want to call it. Those are, everything is in there that's supposed to be in there. Uh, the only thing else is, you know, a shelf will go here. But there's plenty of room over the top of that. This is pretty much lined up as it will be. And uh, I'm very happy with that. Very happy. 
Now the next one I do is the one down there. I'm going to see if I can't get back around to behind this disc and give you a little lineup of that. Now that's going to be a little more difficult uh, strictly because the uh, it's an up and down uh, six outlet strip and I don't know exactly how I'm going to mount it. <laughs> that's going to be the fun thing. Let's get down there and I'll, we'll take a look at that. All right, there's a strip. Here's where it's got to go. Down here. That's going to be, it's just too hard to get in there and show you. Might have to move that desk down that way some. That's going to be a chore. I don't think I can do it. I guess I can. Anyway, you can see it's got to go to here up to here somewhere I haven't got the exact measurements I'm gonna have to get the measurements for that and see I don't think that one's gonna work though I think that's gonna be too tall probably if that uh, there wasn't there I might be able to I don't know about I don't know. let me go in there and look at the uh, measurement of that and see what I can figure out so be right back all right bottom line is that's 10 inches from the uh, bottom of that shelf or the top of the bottom shelf to the bottom of the top of uh, the next shelf it's 10 inches at the most that measures exactly 10 inches now whether or not that's going to work we don't know but it should <clears throat> but as much crap as I went through with this one down here and I do mean crap I had to uh, move it several times get it where it needs to be. Let me sit down here a second. <clears throat> so I can show you a little bit better. Now first I had this there was you can see there's a hole there and a hole here. I had a piece of wood bring that out a little bit. Oh there I am. Okay bring that out a little bit so I could mount this here but then this would interfere with it. It was gonna basically right in the middle of the strip of of uh, plug-ins there that wouldn't work so ended up taking the uh, soldering station off because it wouldn't let me come over far enough I'll have to mount it up higher than it was but that's not a big deal I mean uh, there's nothing you really see there inside of that so that will be done and now let's see this one like I say it fits perfectly now also I had a problem with this I want to outline that let me see here it is. I might switch this over to uh, close up. I think that'll work. Now you can see there's a bridge across that. Uh, I got a little too close. There's a bridge across that to keep so that both of these are the same potential. In other words, if I hook up the wire to here, it'll be it'll power this one too. Now on this side. Uh -huh, Bingo, bango, boombo, it's gone. So, what I have to do is, is solder a piece of wire in there to make that one hold again once uh, so I can use this, really this. But anyway, I had this one in there first in this uh, receptacle, and you know, the one that it had power going to it worked fine, but the other receptacle did not work. So, So anyway, that's been changed. I had another receptacle. I don't like the way that uh, switch plate fits on there, but you know, that's six one half dozen the others, I guess. It's not that gonna be a big deal, uh, rather than change it all out again. So, uh, like I say, that uh, next next agenda, next up on the agenda is getting that, uh, I'm gonna have to take some closer measurements some real close measurements and, and make sure that that's going to actually fit before I go to all the trouble. Like I said, I had so much problem with this one, you know, this one here, <laughs> um, that uh, I don't want to go through that again. You can see my top measurement there, that line across the above that. That was the basically as far as I could go, even with this shelf here. So um, I, as it turns out, I probably could have went up a little higher. But uh, still, it doesn't matter. It's it's in there now. It's it's in there really good. I've got a little standoff. I've got some some uh, basically some of these 
if I can see it now, this one up here coming, but that one's broke. But uh, I got a whole set of those, 200 of those coming. So I'm going to use, I can use those to help me secure wires and things like that. It, right, right now, the way it is, it'll be fine. So it, it's, it's going, it's pretty steady there. It's not going to go anywhere. So we're glad about that. <sighs> I don't know if I'll get my shelf started, done, whatever. Um, I've got to get all this back off again so I can move the desk and get things like I need to get them. And I think what I'm going to do is, is stop this here because it's getting kind of long. And it'll make it so long it's not watchable. So the only thing I have left to do, like I said, is mount that one there. And if I decide to put the shelves up, I'll put those up. I may make a separate video on that, and if I do, I'll, I'll bring you back. I'll show you the result of the uh, uh, power strip on that end once I get it mounted and everything. So, that's going to do it for me, guys. Uh, another pretty nice day out there. And, uh, like I said, I borrowed that light there from up there. <laughs> Worked out pretty good. Anyway, uh, you guys have a wonderful day. Thank you so much for watching. And we will see you.